Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And let me start by thanking all of you because we've reached 75,000 subscribers this week. So that means on to our next goal of 100k subs. So make sure to like, subscribe and share our videos if you want to keep showing your support to this channel. But anyway, let's move on and get right on to today's effect. Today I'm going to show you the best way to get a nice looking glow effect in Premiere. So first, let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Now create a sequence to your likings and we're going to start off by making a text layer which we can do by hitting T on the keyboard or by pressing the type icon from the toolbar. Now style it however you want and then head right to the effects panel. Now there are a couple of ways that we can follow to create a glow, but not all of them are nice looking in my opinion. First up, let's look for the VR glow effect. Drag it onto the text layer. Now the default look is already quite okay. And if you head over to the effect controls panel, you notice that there are a couple of properties that we can alter to change the look and feel. Now you can play around with these controls yourself, but I don't really like the look of it. It just feels a bit off and it doesn't feel like a real glow. It looks very artificial and weird. Now VR glow is also a bit of a heavier effect because it is normally used for 360 degree footage. Hence why it's called VR glow. Now let's delete the effect and look for another one. We're now going to look for the alpha glow effect. Apply it to your text as well. Once again, we can change multiple properties and give a kind of a gradient color to the glow by setting a beginning and an end color. But just like before, it doesn't really look that great. So is there another one? Well, yes and no. There isn't a specific glow effect, but there is another effect with a bit of a workaround. But before I tell you more about that, I quickly want to mention our classes. Now, since you're watching this Premiere Pro tutorial, you probably want to learn all there is to know about Adobe Premiere Pro and video editing. And if that's that's the case then definitely check out our Premiere courses. We have a basic course where you get to know all the basic ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro and we also have an advanced class which I highly recommend to watch afterwards. But since you're watching this channel which is a basics channel let me tell you all about our Premiere class for beginners. First we familiarize you with the workspace and the organization of projects and clips. Then we teach you about the basic editing, the toolbox, video effects, transitions, text and graphics and how to create templates and use them, how to make custom animations, how to create basic visual effects, color grading, audio mixing and audio effects, which is something a lot of editors need to learn more about, and of course, how to export your video in the best possible resolution. So if you want to become pro in Premiere Pro, then head over to the first link in the description down below and learn all the basic editing techniques within Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, and if you're quick, the first month is completely for free, so definitely check it out. But we're gonna move on to the best technique for creating a nice looking glow in Premiere, so from the timeline, duplicate the text layer, which you can do by holding Alt while dragging. Now look for the Gaussian blur effect in the effects panel and drag it onto that bottom layer. Now increase the blurriness and BAM! You've immediately got a nice looking glow around your text. But Jill, I wanted to have a specific color. Well, no worries! Simply apply the tint effect to that layer as well and change it to the color you like. Oh, and since you're still watching this video, I'm going to give you an advanced secret that you can use with this kind of glow. Now let's recreate this kind of video right here. It is a video where the highlights glow like a gloom effect. It gives kind of a cyberpunk kind of vibe. But how do we do this? First off, duplicate your layer in the timeline. And on the top layer, place the Lumetri color effect, which you can find by going to the window menu and then hit Lumetri color. Once the Lumetri panel is opened, brighten the video a bit by adjusting the exposure. Then we're going to create some more contrast, so play around with the different sliders until the bright areas are clearly brighter than the darker parts. Also add a bit of saturation. Then head over to the effects panel and look for the Luma key effect. Place it on the top layer too. Then disable the bottom track for a moment and play around with the cutoff of the Luma effect to only select the highlights in your shot. Then look for the Gaussian blur effect and place it on that layer as well. Adjust the blurriness and check the repeat edges checkbox. This will make sure there isn't a gap around the edges. Now, this is already looking exactly like we want it to look. A super nice gloom effect or a glowing billboard effect, whatever you want to call it. Now you can always adjust the color by placing the tint effect on it and adjusting the map white property. And to finish it off, set the blending mode of this layer to lighten and BAM! A nice looking glow. Now I know this was quite a simple video, but it doesn't always have to be super advanced to learn something new. Just remember to always use the Gaussian blur effect if you want a nice looking glow to your text or footage. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in next week's tutorial. I'll see you guys then 
And as always, stay creative.